All right, so I uh, was trying to make another tutorial and it wasn't working out, so I'm gonna try and make a different one for uh, for like stu stage lights uh, and stuff. So uh, and they're really cool because they can like move around and track and and everything. So uh, yeah, delete the cube as you see I have done. Um, yeah, let's make it kind of big, I guess. Let's uh, rotate it on the y-axis just to get it going. 90 degrees. Um, hop into edit mode. Um, I'm going to inset this a little bit like that and then extrude it all the way back almost. Cool. So yeah, we got that bit. Um, Next thing I'm gonna do is, oh, we gotta scale this along the x-axis a little bit, like that. And then I'm gonna shift right click to put the cursor right at the end there. I'm gonna make a plane. We're gonna R rotate it on the x-axis 90 degrees. We're gonna scale it down on the x-axis as well. We're gonna bring it up. GZ is how I did that. Um, how did I do this before? Oh yeah, okay, so, and then go into edit mode with that. I'm gonna hit two to do edge select. Um, and then I'm gonna hit E to extrude it, but I'm gonna hit Y as well, so it's just along the Y axis. Um, yeah, um, like that. And then I'm gonna E, Z, extrude it along the Z axis. Oh, I should probably see if these line up where they... Okay, that one is below a little bit, so I'm gonna see if I can... Can I just select that bottom bit? No, it's not letting me. Okay, go back to... Which one is it here? Three. So bring that... Oh, I can't see it. Oh, that's annoying. Okay, well, we're just gonna do trial and error. Okay, there we are. Cool, and now, um, yeah, it's a little, I overshot a little bit as you can see, but I did that on purpose because now I can three, select that, um, and then G on the Y, wait, what? Okay. G on the Y, there we go. Now we're nice and flush. Okay, so that's our little mount, and then what we're gonna do is uh, hit two to select edges, and we're gonna select these two edges. And we're gonna control B, bevel those guys out. So it looks like a nice, uh, yeah, nice little little wire. I uh, just am noticing that I'm intersecting a tiny, tiny bit here. So I'm gonna G, Y, and hold down Shift to just barely make it work. Okay, cool. So yeah, we got that. Uh, next thing I'm going to do is um, I'm going to shift S and cursor to world origin. I'm going to make a cylinder and I'm going to scale it down on the Z axis. I'm going to scale it down a little on the, on the regular axis too. I'm going to rotate it on the Y. There's going to be a uh, Oops, G on the X. This is gonna be our, um, this is kind of like a non-functional type of, uh, it just shows, like when you have a light in Blender, you can't actually see it. Like it makes a light and you can see the effect of it, but you can't actually see the light. So if you see, if you're looking at this light up on uh, like in the scaffolding of a stage or something like that, um, it's just gonna be like black. There might be like a little bit of blue around like the edge, like inside here. Although don't do that because it's really bad for rendering. Um, but yeah, so I like to make this little cylinder here. We can even, let's actually just like materialize it now. So go into material, new, and we'll do flood, light, um, front. I think there's a better thing that you can uh name that as but yeah and then we'll go down to a mission let's make it blue and then if we hop in here oh no uh shoot 
I made it a uh, part of that. Okay, well, normally you would make a new cylinder. I made it while I was still in edit mode, so it's attached to this mount. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna P by selection, so now it's a different... It's a different thing. It's called plane one, even though it's not uh, a plane. Uh, what's it called? What did I name this? Emission flood light emission front. Is that how you spell emission? I don't even know. Okay, we're gonna we're just gonna materialize this thing really quick. Uh, okay, so this we are gonna we're not gonna do that one. Let's do a new one and let's just make it black. Blip. This guy, um, we'll choose that material too. Cool. Yeah, in uh, in EV preview, we can see this is blue, this is black. This will probably even look better in uh, cycles. Let's go GPU. Yeah, why not? Okay, so let's go back into into whatever this one is, uh, the clay mode. Okay, so now what we want to do is rig it up um, with bones. And this is the part that I'm not really good at, so I'm going to try my best, but I kind of suck. Um, we're going to make an armature. Um, I know there's a way to make it so you can see that in front of you, but I don't know how. I'm just going to bring that all the way up and then we're going to go into edit mode. I'm going to tap this. I'm going to extrude down until I get to like where the world origin is kind of thing. Cool. So that is down and then we're going to extrude another one along the X. Yeah, there it is. Just like that. And then we're going to get out of edit mode and we're going to make a new armature. We're going to bring it we're going to bring it over, over here. Cool. So now we have this, uh, this joint over here. We have this bone that's going to control the, uh, the railing. And then we're going to have this, uh, this bone in here, which is going to control where the light points. Okay. How do you do this again? <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm going to have this bone. I think I gotta go into pose mode, so I did control tab for that. So this bone, shift, shift click this bone, shift click this bone, shift I. Yeah, uh, it's a new empty object. Oh dear. I don't know, that's not what I wanted at all. Um, so I accidentally made two different bone, like armature objects, and what I have to do is I need to make this one in uh in the the whole thing in sorry in the whole thing i have to make this separate bone still in uh the same collection or the same object basically okay so that is our third bone sweet now we can go into control tab pose mode that shift that and then we're gonna shift I to active bone cool so now this is all controlled which is sweet and which is what we want um you're just gonna reline that up again but that's not the way that a light behaves it doesn't go like all wacky around like that so we have to click on that bone um any bone reverse yeah and then we have to go into inverse kinematics and lock this one only goes on the Z axis, so I think we have to. No, for some reason that wouldn't. It maybe we have to lock that one and not the other ones. No, that's not quite it. One of these combinations. There we go. Okay, so. Um. Yeah, that one's only gonna spin. Because that, this, this mount here, this guy, <laughs> trying to point at the screen like you guys can see, this guy is, uh, is only going to be able to, to, like, swivel that way. Um, and then the light is only going to be able to, like, swivel up, up and down. So let's do that one now. Um, this one, lock. It's only going to be locked by one constraint, I think. 
No, that's not what we want. Yeah, that's it. Cool, so that's behaving like what we want. So now we gotta parent these guys. So we're gonna go shift tab into object mode. We're gonna click the light part and then shift click the bones, go into pose mode. Um, click on the bone that we want, control P to bone. And then we're gonna do that again, go back in object mode with control shift. Um, click the uh, mount and then shift click the bones, control tab into pose mode, uh, click the bone that we want, control P. Whoops, what the, I don't know what I just did there. Um, to bone. Uh, cool. Now, if we go into in pose mode, which we are, hallelujah, it's uh, working, except we we don't have one one part of it. So let's go back into object mode. Um, click on our little our lens. I should have just named it lens. Oh well. Um, and let's parent it to the cylinder. And now the most important part um, of this whole ordeal is we we haven't even made a light for our light. So let's make a let's do that. Let's make a little uh, spotlight. Bring it out on the x-axis axis and rotate it on the y. 90 and we're gonna put it a little bit in front of the light um, It's just better for rendering and stuff like that if we do that. So we're gonna parent it to uh, To that um, Cool now the the final thing to make this actually uh, to be able to animate this properly um, Is we got to parent this this bone to like where we where we want it want it to go. Um, is that is that even working properly? It's kind of working. Whatever. Um, so we got to go into the bone constraints. Add a bone constraint. Um, copy location. This is just the way I found out. I found to do it. Um, cool. And then I forgot. I gotta make. I'll go back in object mode, make an empty. Let's make a little, let's make a little sphere. Oop. Go back into pose mode. So yeah, this guy has the copy location and we're gonna copy the empty. So it's just gonna follow wherever this empty goes even when we are in object mode. That's kind of cool. Um, so yeah, and then if we go into object mode, oh yeah, we gotta make this guy blue as well uh if we make like a make a plane uh let's rotate that on the y um boop i think this light needs to be a little bit brighter boop -doo. let's make it really bright yeah now we got uh, the spotlight and it follows. Let's bring this back into EV so we can kind of see it. Follows wherever you put this empty and you can track that empty to whatever you want. Um, let's just do some shading smooth on that. Um, and the cool thing about this, unfortunately, it's it's a little annoying when you try to um, make a bunch of them, which you're gonna want to do because there's never just one light. What you gotta do is you gotta click on the collection. Okay, unfortunately, you guys missed this part because my big old head was in front of the outliner. But um, what you gotta do is, since there are bones and regular objects in each of these, at least what I've found, you have to do. Maybe there's a better way of doing this. Um, you have to put each of them into a collection. Uh, so each each light has their own collection inside there. The armature has the pose and the armature, and then the cylinders that are parented to the armature, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, so yeah, you have to duplicate collection. And then now, if I shift G that, then I'll have another one. Um, yeah, and I can I can duplicate the collection again. 
Uh, it's just a little annoying and you can kind of, it's, unless you do it perfectly, you can kind of scratch your head around a little bit because you can move some objects and then their children will stay in, in another, um, another collection and uh yeah it's tricky so just do that but anyway um let's just switch oh yeah and the other annoying thing is you have to switch this material like the lens material and the light material separately um i'm sure there is a way to whoops to make it all coordinated and just work but i'm not super super good at that kind of stuff so yeah it made the light yellow and the lens yellow and let's go over to this one let's change that material and make it red and then we'll make this light red cool and then yeah now you can see that all of these guys have that bone uh, bone constraint thing oops um that are just parented to this and we can it's kind of kind of cool to see how additive lighting all works and uh and stuff like that but uh yeah and obviously this won't like when you're fully rendered they just just look like that uh shoot guys it's uh it's not working right it's <laughs> uh i forgot to do one of the constraints so what you gotta do is um one of the bones um wow i cannot talk today uh okay so select that bone that's uh parented to the light um well first i'll, I'll just show you you've probably saw it in the video before but yeah i uh it was way off like it's completely the mount is going through the the light cylinder really really badly and uh and so there needs to be one more constraint on these bones so um control tab into those bones this one on the on the cylinder is the one that you're going for and you have to also lock that x ik constraint and you saw that it snapped um into a better into a better existence <laughs> when i did that um yeah and now i've done it to these two lights and you can see now hopefully when i move this they uh they work a lot better and they work like lights would look um oh man i'm also gonna um auto smooth this guy whoop there we go yeah these guys deserve to be auto smooth that uh, will help a lot and i'm sure there's a lot more detail that you can add to these guys um if they move like that there should be motors i'm sure um somewhere on here but you you can figure that out <laughs> you can make them look however you want i don't i'm just showing you the basic uh structure of how you can make these uh automated lights and uh yeah and another cool thing that uh that you can do obviously with this empty now that you have this all um i don't think you guys can actually there we go um is yeah you can i um Animate the location of that, throw it, throw it over here, uh, throw another keyframe, whoops, um, bring it up there, location, and then uh, bring it back down there, and oh, that's why it's moving all weird, I got the magnet on. Um, so yeah, and then we go back and it's uh, just animates, nice and easy. So yeah, I just wanted to show you guys uh, that bone thing that I messed up really quick.